Hello, I'm Aman, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how do I restore a large volume of Amazon S3 objects in Glacier, Flexible Retrieval or Deep Archive. Let's get started. To restore a large volume of S3 Glacier objects, you can use Amazon S3 batch operations or run a custom AWS command line interface script. First, I will show you how to use S3 batch operations to restore your large volume. Sign in to the AWS management console and then navigate to the Amazon S3 console. In the navigation pane, choose batch operations. Then choose create job. Select the AWS region where you want to create the job. Under choose manifest, choose the format of your manifest file. You can choose either an S3 inventory report or a .csv file. Then enter the S3 path to your manifest file. Then choose next. Under choose operations, choose restore. For restore source, choose either Glacier Flexible Retrieval or Glacier Deep Archive or Intelligent Tiering Archive Access Tier or Deep Archive Access Tier. Enter the number of days that you need the restored objects for. Choose either Bulk Retrieval or Standard Retrieval Tier based on your requirements. Note that Expedited Retrievals isn't supported. Choose Next. On the next page, you can optionally add a description, set priority or generate a completion report. Then select the AWS Identity and Access Management role that has the necessary permissions for the S3 batch operations restore job. Review the job details and then choose create job. After you create the job, you must confirm the job and then run it to initialize the restore process. The amount of time it takes to restore the volume depends on the tier that you have selected. Now, let me show you how to use a custom AWS CLI script to restore your large volume of objects. For Linux and Unix operating systems, open a terminal and run the list objects command. In the command, include your bucket name and folder path. Also, include the number of days that you need the restored objects for. For Windows, run the list objects command and include your bucket name and folder path. Then, to restore the objects, run the restore object command, include your bucket name, folder path, and number of days that you need the restored object for. Note that you incur additional charges for the list and data retrieval request. Make sure to check the Amazon S3 pricing documentation you can find the link in the video description. So now you know how to restore a large volume of objects in S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval or S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage classes. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.